What is this? Uh, yes, we're open. Bacon and eggs, only five ninety-five. Old-fashioned service. Cool. Hey, I am back. Oh, they had a jukebox. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. Oh, it's nice to be here, guys. What is this? Unexpected snowballs. Coming up at noon, K-Bay 7 News will explore the mystery of yesterday's unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. That's it. Okay, I like how they use the uh, a real persons. Uh, in that in that news report. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little I'm lost. Not. I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide: Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese. David, do you know David? I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Is that douche? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling. I really wouldn't call it a at calling. Station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. What about Chloe? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Who told you? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt <laughs> That would be Joyce me. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No. You're no, wrong. I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. Her. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so. What about Joyce? How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV. Outside. What? Why? I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get Frank. to work. Frank. Okay. So he is going to be a, a major character in here. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer. So spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Hello? Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, day. Eh? Wow. Very optimistic. I like this woman. Uh, Tucker? No, it's a trucker. It's not Tucker. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. That's right. Over now. That's right. You get to uh, it. hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. What are you looking at? Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. Really? How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. Well, that's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my car. No one asked you to come here, dude. There are many other places that you can go to dine. Joyce! Uh, can I talk to Joyce? What is this? Oh god. I'm hungry now. Drool. Want everything. Jukebox. 
banjo tune. Uh, banjo tune, please. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> uh, we can't go to the kitchen, no, I don't think. Joyce? Is there anything I can do? Booth, sit. There we go. Chloe's not here yet. I think she's on her way. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. Like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands, I think. Just in a different way. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Ugh. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. Really? But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I don't know. He cares about Kate Marsh? He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to oh, eat? Oh, here comes. Bacon omelet? Yeah. Belgian waffle. I'm, I'm more of a bacon for the morning kind of guy. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. Nice meeting, Joyce. What a lovely lady. Now where is Chloe? What is this? One bacon omelet for the young... The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Bacon omelet. Bigfoot bacon. Wow. Crab cakes. Look at all these varieties. Cool. Latest app. Graffiti? Bacon at 12 o'clock hot. Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. Cool. Let's just drink our coffee. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. <laughs> no beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Is there anything we have to do here? Oh, window. Okay. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. Look out the window. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. 
coming. Oh, here comes my food, guys. I have to look away. The smell is intriguing. I can intriguing. hear your stomach <laughs> rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Oh, Thanks, Joyce. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Mm, speak of the devil. She's famous. She's popular. Mom and Max together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Did I put on the uh, the banjo before? Now that that's out of the way. Cool. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. Let's. This is all happening. Let's so experiment fast. then. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Okay, what can we do? Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, what 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 does she have? Okay, Max. Impress me. Uh what? Keys, chewing gum, tube of glitter, I don't know. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? I need to okay, see them first. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Um, coins, That was cigarettes. beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe What is that? A ticket to something? Ah, uh, look, 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 look. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. What is this? Uh, uh keychain? Cool, a box of cigarettes, cool, uh, oh, quarters and pennies, cents, quarter, dollar, I'm not an American, so I don't know what these are, so one, two, three, four, five, six cents, and two, three, four, three quarters, what's that? Okay, warning to get a, a, a fine, yeah, okay, alright, let's rewind time. Can we do that? A bit quicker? There we are. Well, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Alright, um, you have cigarettes, of course. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. Oh Can my god! <laughs> I forgot! Um, doesn't look like she's got 13, 7. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Yeah, I got it right. Amazing. Something else in my pocket? Money. Money, money, money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? What's it? Oh, crap. We have to add those up as well. Uh, I know she's got six cents. Uh, a quarter for six. Six. So that would be around 82 cents, I guess. 86. Quarter of a pound. Oh my god. 86? 86 cents. That's ah, right. Even large in Arcadia Bay. Did it again. So that was cool. Show me Key more. Keychain. Keys. Your car keys. Duh. Way too easy. I need details. Describe a my panda. Keychain. Uh, pixel heart. Panda keychain. There we go. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? There's more. Oh yes, parking ticket, of a course. A parking ticket. You know me well. But, what is the exact time I oh was Oh my busted? god, I didn't really pay attention to this one. 11.10? 11.10, I remember seeing a lot of ones, I guess. 11.10am? 
That is so- No! Oh, guys! Okay, psychic Shit. girl. Let me show you what's actually in Oh, God. Okay, okay, come on, that's a kid. Okay, Max. Study every item- Ah, oh, 1034! Okay. Okay, let's do this again, guys. A parking ticket. You know me well. 10.34 a.m. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell cool. time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> Cigarettes, yeah, we've been through I'm all this. Sure. Yes, you know- Alright, cool. Um, it's seven. Yep. Seven. <laughs> Super- Amazing! Money! Hmm. Clearly I'm- Uh, 86 cents. 86? That's right. So that was- Keys, panda, robot. Your car key. Duh, wait. A cute robot panda keychain. Not- Amazing, eh? Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. I know, right? <laughs> you have powers. I can do more. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. Let's finish our breakfast so we can talk more. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. <gasps> no way! Uh -huh. Alright, yes way. Uh... Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay, so Joyce... Oh! Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. It's a lot of things happening, actually. Okay. And our. Oh. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Let's. Rewind. Okay. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Um, Joyce drops a plate. Nope. Uh, drop, drop, uh, nope. Trucker drops his mug. That is true. Yep. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? Uh, he answers, and he eats a donut. What? What was this? And his partner leaves. And he answers. Alert on cops radio, and he answers, and he leaves. And his partner leaves, and he leaves. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Uh, I don't well, think that's what happened. let's just see how this goes down. Oh god. This is quite elaborated. Like, uh, Joyce, uh, Joyce beats them. Uh, Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good! Can't wait to see what happens! Uh, butterfly lands on it, Chuck obeys a new song. Cockroach crawls on it as a butterfly lands on it, as a truck plays a new song. This is very detailed, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Trucker plays a new song. I don't think that's what happened. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens. Like I'm pretty said. sure um, it's 75% wrong here. Oops! Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. So that's right. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? His partner left. You're a I think dick. not, Max. Me, bitch. Okay, let's rewind time. Got that part wrong. Let's try I'm that again. I'm going to predict 
Uh, Trevor, the trucker drops his mug. That the is The trucker correct. drops his mug. So what happens next? The cops radio and um, his partner leaves. That's true. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just... Uh, Jar stops them. Justin and Trevor. Oh man, I could have just waited for the, uh, the jukebox thing. I think a butterfly lands on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. All right, let's witness. This is a pretty, pretty cool mechanic. It's got to be said for a very linear game, you know? Oops. Dude, Did you, you right? break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. You bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. And the jukebox? Oh, it's a cockroach. No. Okay, let's just rewind time now. We don't have to waste any more. And this is getting good. a cockroach. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Mac. Oh, this must be the correct one, yeah. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait, really? go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! <laughs> the best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. <laughs> that is why we have Maybe the power you move in Shido. On me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to close the gate. It's not wise to overuse the power because of the whole nose bleeding thing. Uh, should we say goodbye to Joyce? Joyce? Is that. Oh, she cleaned. <laughs> She cleaned the mug up pretty fast. Bye, Joyce. I'll be back, I hope. Okay, let's go. Hello? Chloe? Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I can I've talk to her while I go with you. I'm gonna answer. It's Kate Marsh. Come on, she needs help more than hey, you Kate. think. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Cool. Thanks, Max. What's up? If you'd rather chill with Kate, please oh, go ahead. Come on, you are Chloe. Ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now, let's rock. Let's go, let's go. I'm not gonna rewind that, really. Uh, actually. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. No, I'm not gonna rewind that, guys. I'm just not. You know, you just have to prioritize who needs more help, and clearly in this case, Kate needs more help, so.